Hello, my fine furry friends. I'm Dakian. It's Monday, the 23rd of January, 2017. And it's time for my weekly update on painting. And uh, there's a sort of a meager batch of finished minis today. Three, the three you're seeing right now, the pirates. Uh, we have the one lady pirate. Uh, with her scimitar and her not very matching outfits. You know, pirates can't be picky. They have to pick up whatever finery they can loot off their uh, uh, captured captives or whatever. We have the one goblin pirate who's just standing there. And we have the other goblin pirate who has a hook. He has some sort of bat instead of an instead of a parrot perched on his shoulder, and he has some sort of it's like a roll of rope, but there's eyes on it, like eye stalks around his peg leg, with one one strand of rope around his peg leg. That is, I'm not quite sure what that is. It's kind of funny looking, though. Um, anyway. So three minis doesn't seem like a lot. Now, partially it's that I uh, I only have three completed. There's a lot of minis you'll see in the minutes that are partially completed, that's like maybe half <clears throat> finished. Um, as I was saying, one of the reasons I haven't gotten a whole metric ton of stuff done is it's it's simply winter. It's It's, the dark time of the year. I, I don't know what it's like where you live, but here in Sweden, this time of year, it's dark when I get up in the morning, it's dark when I go to work, it's dark when I go home from work, and the lack of sunlight simply leaves me a little bit drained. I don't have much energy to do anything at all, even in my free time. And yeah, it, it, I, I, I've just got the blahs, you might say. But I'm I'm trying to stay positive because every day it gets a little bit brighter, a little bit more sunlight each day, and before you know it, you know I'll be up to speed and painting away like never before. I expect. Anyway, let's move on to have a look at those uh, still in the works projects. So I've got at least a little bit more paint on each of these. Uh, not so much these guys, but at least the pirates are sort of on the way. Um, I'm um, kind of working on on the idea that pirates like to be bright, flashy, gaudy as much as possible. So I want bright colors. On the other hand, their clothes are probably also old and tattered and faded. So I'm doing pale uh, primary colors on most of these and yeah I mean they're coming along it's it's the kind of thing where I make small incremental progress and suddenly a lot of stuff is finished so hmm, not much to say really all right so the new project I want to start this week is one that I actually did uh, declare my intention to start a while back but then I put it on pause it's this medieval wagon with the, the farmers and the reason I sort of paused it was because I didn't have the base for it. Now I do. First, let's look at here. Here's the various bits and pieces of the wagon itself. Here's the two farmers that are driving it. But most importantly, to measure that it's going to fit, I need I need the horse. I need the wagon bed. And. You can tell that yes, it will fit pretty much exactly on this base that I got last week from Heresy in the package that I unboxed uh, at the end of last week's Monday video for you. So uh, I'm gonna get started, and hopefully I'll have this cleaned and assembled at least for by next week, maybe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to look at it and see how I'm going to paint it. Probably I'll paint portions of it at least off the base. 
but I need to prep the base beforehand anyway so that I know the placement and so forth before I finish painting as well. So it, it's going to be um, um, a back and forth process. Anyway, this should be fun. Looking forward to it. So this week's uh, unboxing for you is of a number of miniatures from actually a magazine called War Games Illustrated. They um, mostly make a magazine, as you can imagine. They also produce a limited range of miniatures, which are historical in nature. And just before Christmas they had a big sale, so I picked up, I think, their entire range uh, at a very hefty discount. And as you can tell, this is Julius Caesar. Um, and these are limited, numbered. Not that limited, there's 500 made of them, but still. And here we have Lieutenant Colonel Durnford, who is some sort of colonial officer. Oops. And these are, you know, one piece castings. Um, I don't recall what I paid for them, but uh, let's see. There's Napoleon. And here's. We keep falling out. Uh, John Churchill, the Duke of Marlborough. Is powdered wig. Who's we have here? We have <laughs> Leon Trotsky and Lord Kitchener, a British officer. Next up is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Johnny Frost. We're into World War II territory here. American dude. And finally, we have Rommel. General Erwin Rommel, the Desert Fox. So, uh, a bunch of famous, mostly commanders throughout history. And, uh, yeah. It was just... I... I at the price they were offering it, I just couldn't resist adding these to my collection. The shiny syndrome strikes again. Oh well. Uh, that was uh, it for this week's video, in any case. I hope you like it. Share, subscribe, uh, comment if you have anything to say. And join me again next week for my regularly scheduled updates. Until then, I'm Dakian. Signing off.